Hi there, this is Sine coming at you with another unscripted video. Today I want to take a look at um, a new utility that I found on the internet to help you edit images, capture images, um, crop them, do really quick image editing without the need to own something like Photoshop or Fireworks. Now it's all online and if you are one of my students, uh, in the past I've shown you a, a online utility called Picnic. Today I want to show you one that's actually I think a little better. So I'm going to um, go to no, a normal Google instead of the images here and I'm going to type in Pixlr. Uh, that's P-I-X-L-R. Um, that'll take you to the Pixlr.com webpage. So go ahead and click there. Now there's a couple of different elements to this. First of all you can use this without installing anything on your computer. You simply click to go to the editor and you tell the editor where to get an image. Do you want to create a new one? Do you want to open one from your computer? Do you want to open one from a URL? Or do you want to open one from your library there on Pixlr, Facebook, or some other library? Um, and all of those will work right out of the box. Now I also recommend an add-on that you can add to your Firefox installation which will give you a tool over here that you can put either in your sidebar. Now I, I have a sidebar widget here but it could also be right up here. Okay, it, Any sidebar, uh, I'm sorry, any toolbar where you wanted to put it. Now it's called, uh, it's just an add-on and let me show you a little bit how it works before we actually I actually show you how to install it. So let's say I want to do, uh, I want to find an image about a woman and a laptop. Okay, and I'm just, I'm making things up here, okay? Okay, so this is a pretty good image. So I'm going to right click and open that in a new tab. And my pr predominant reason for doing that is here on Google, we're actually viewing a thumbnail image, not the full size image. And here we are getting the full size image. Now, if I, uh, let's go ahead and try a view image. Oh, it did. And do you see I have? a URL here where this image could be found. If I copy that URL, I can inside of Pixlr open that image from a URL and just paste the URL that I copied there. And when I click OK, it's going to go capture that image, bring it over, put it inside my editor where I can do things like add text or crop it. Let's say for example, I don't really want to show the laptop or the top of her feet. By default, I come in with the crop tool already enabled. So if I just click, drag, and release, and then press enter, I'm going to get that area of the image that I wanted cropped out. Now at this point, I can of course save this image back to my computer, or rather not back to, but rather to my computer. So if I get it a name like woman and laptop in grass, Okay, I can of course keep the quality about 80% and then save it to my local computer somewhere. Now I'll go ahead and save it to my desktop. And so I, using Pixlr, was able to grab an image, crop it, save it to my local computer, and it is right here exactly the way I put it together. So let's go viewer that. So there's the image that I captured. So just really easily I was able to go um, grab this from a URL. There's another feature that I really like and that's the ability to grab an image interactively. Now let's go to this web page and let's actually get out of here and look at this website itself. And you see how it has an image right over here. Well what if I wanted the image and what they had put here? Well I can use this new tool I can click it and it will give me a crop window that I can move where I want it, size how I want it, and then when I click crop, I have the option to edit it, save it to my desktop, copy it to the clipboard, or share it on one of my libraries. Now if I click edit, once again it's going to open that image as a URL and place it right here inside my editor where I can either save it to my local computer um, or add something of my own like add some additional text. Uh, let's grab the text icon, drop it right here and say click here for more Oops, info. Make it a little bit smaller where it'll fit. 
let's change the color to make it red. Something like that. Say OK and OK. And now if I select the arrow tool, I can touch this and then start moving it. I'm just using my arrow key to move it. So just real easy to use. As you can see, it's got some features like um, Photoshop has. Um, I can add layers. I can step back through my history. Um, I can create a new layer. I can add special effects. And I have all of these built-in tools that I can work with. So if you've always wanted Photoshop but couldn't afford it, or you just wanted a quick way to capture something on your screen, edit it really quickly, save it to your local computer, then Pixlr is the way to go. Now let's talk briefly about what it takes to get that add-on into Firefox. To do that, first I'm going to go to Mozilla's site. Now this is a Firefox add-on. Um, so I'm going to jump over here to the add-ons for this particular page, or for Firefox rather. I'm going to search for an add-on for Pixlr, and that's P-I-X-L-R. It's going to come back with a couple of different options. Now this is the one we want, the Pixlr Grabber, right here. So I would just click Add to Firefox, and if it asks, if Firefox asks, uh, do I want to install it? I'm going to, of course, click Install Now. Now I already have it, um, so it's, it's already done, but last but not least is Restart Now to make Pix Pixlr Grabber available to you. Now, once you do this, and I mentioned to you that I have a sidebar over here, a custom toolbar that I placed here. But let me show you how to get it in your normal toolbar, uh, say right up here where, uh, where your other items are normally located. So to do that, I would press Alt, V as in Victor, to open up my file menu for toolbars. And I'm going to click on Customize. Now with Customize, these are the menu items that are the toolbar options that you have available to you. Um, and as you can see, I have an icon of a hand when it's here. So if I, if I bring it back here, this is what it'll look like when you first come in. So you can just simply grab it and push it wherever you want. Now this places it in the top toolbar. I actually want it in my side toolbar right over here. So I'm just grabbing it and putting it wherever I want and then when I click done that toolbar is now available to me and with this tool toolbar once again I click the grabber move my crop window to wherever I want size it to wherever I want and then when I click crop it will grab that image and allow me to edit it so I hope this video has helped you see one of the really cool features uh, available in Firefox and a new screen capture utility if you're not looking to pay for one and you just want a quick photo editor. So uh, till next time, this is Sine signing off saying happy blogging.